Hello. When you launch Caliber Interactive from a design tool, it automatically fills in certain GUI fields based on the open cell. This is controlled with templates, and you can customize the templates for your own workflow. For example, the output files are named using the open cell. I want to change the results database file name, and I also want to specify a template for the rule file name. To view and edit the templates, select Setup Preferences and the Templates tab. Click the Outputs tab to edit the output file templates. Here is a template for the results database, where percent %L is replaced with the cell name. I want to use both the library and cell in the file name and to change the file extension to RDB. Click the Rules tab to change the rule file template. I use an environment variable for the rule file name, so I'll enter that. Environment variables can be used in file names and path names. Now save the run set. And reload it. Now on the Outputs pane, I see my new file name for the results database. I see that the rule file is now entered correctly. The templates I entered are saved like this in the run set. The replaceable parameters are only allowed in template run set options, not in the options for the corresponding GUI fields. As usual, only non-default options are saved in the run set. Now let's look at how Export from Layout or Schematic is set with a template. We'll look at an LVS session so we can see both of the export settings. Here we see Export from Layout Viewer is enabled and Export from Schematic Viewer is disabled. Let's look at the templates. On the Inputs tab, Export from Layout Viewer is set to Yes. This means that the layout export is enabled when you invoke Caliber Interactive from a design tool. Export from Schematic Viewer is set to Run Set. This means that the schematic export setting is controlled by the Run Set setting. In summary, you can use templates to automatically fill in some Caliber Interactive settings based on the open design. For information on disabling templates, see this video. Thank you.